Hello everyone to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius. So keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you like a personal reading, that is going to be down below in the description. We can find that on my website. You can also find a bunch of other things there on that website too, and it's free to sign up and join. So go ahead and go check it out. But let's see what we have going on for our Aquarius, okay? Our squiggly line sign today. What's going on? What's going on? We have the sun, and the sun on this card, it's, it's Sun God Ra. Sun God Ra is helping you to create something. So there's something here you're creating, Aquarius, or you're going to be creating. Okay? What are you creating? You're creating something. Yeah, we have the Empress with it, too. This is creation. There's something here you're creating. You're bringing forth into reality. You guys are popping up as star seeds here, okay? You're a star seed, and you're creating something. You're creating something that you're having psychic dreams about, or you feel... You're getting some sort of psychic message to create it, Aquarius. And here you are creating it. We have we have the salmon. The salmon is empathy here. So you're connecting more with your empathic side. So this thing that you're creating, it, it comes from empathy. You're creating it out of being empathic towards others here, Aquarius. And we have the dragon here as well. The dragon is power. The dragon is prosperity. It may be bringing prosperity for yourself and others around you, Aquarius. It may be making the whole world here prosperous in some type of way. Or it's just helping other people. But either way, you guys are releasing something here as well. And it feels like you're either going to be connecting with your, your brothers and your sisters, if you have any. Or just your soul brothers or your soul sisters here. Aquarius. Alright, so... I'm going to go over here to this deck. What do we have for Aquarius? Oh, card just fell. Okay. You're, you're, okay, look at this. You're going from a knight to an emperor. So it feels like you're definitely leveling up here, Aquarius. It feels like you're definitely bossing up here. It's like you're maturing, you're moving up in life here. You know what I'm saying, Aquarius? It's like you're, you're definitely evolving. Okay, I see an evolution happening for you. It feels like you guys have been trying to reach out to help somebody here, maybe even financially, but it's like they've been ignoring you. I feel like you're going after what you really want for your life, and you're setting up some strong boundaries with some people around you. You're going after what you desire. There's somebody here that, that's coming towards you, that's in their feelings about you, Aquarius. Okay, it could be an Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn with the King of Pentacles, or maybe they just have Earth in their birth chart. But there's somebody here that's all in their feelings about you. There's somebody here that's all desiring you, Aquarius. I don't know, maybe you're desiring them. I feel like this person views you as like treasure, as somebody here that's like precious to them. They could potentially be a Scorpio here as well, or potential. Cancer, the zodiac sign here, Aquarius. Okay. That's what I feel like. There's a queen of wands here, too. So we have fire. Fire is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. There could be somebody here that's studying something. Okay, there's they're either, 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 Aquarius. Either there may be people fighting over you, or there may be somebody here trying to get in your way, but it's, it's like it doesn't really matter because you're setting up strong boundaries with people anyways, releasing who is... Not respecting boundaries. You you may be releasing people that are not res respecting your boundaries, Aquarius. And I feel like you're overall, you're just moving forward. You're evolving here. You're getting more knowledge that you need, more information that you need here. And once again, there's somebody here that's all in their feelings about you. What you do with them, that's going to be up to you. But what you want for your life is just up ahead for you, Aquarius. Okay, you got victory. If you've been wanting victory, look at that. It's just up ahead for you. You're almost there. You're almost there. Keep going. Keep moving forward, okay? Because this is a brand new beginning for you. That, once again, I feel like this is creation. There's something here you're about to create. You're about to bring forth into reality. Keep going. It's going to bring you success, or it is going to be a successful creation here, Aquarius. Uh, some of you guys may also have new love coming your way here, too, but overall, I think there's success. There's victory, okay? It's being offered to you, Aquarius. It's your heart's desires here. It's what you've been truly, deeply desiring. There's a king of wands here, and then there's love. There's somebody here coming in. 
That's like a mirror of you. They're a reflection of you. They're very similar to you, Aquarius. Okay. This is a type of, this is like, um, twin flame type of vibes. You know, when we talk about twin flames, twin flames is just somebody here that mirrors us. They're a reflection of us. They're very similar to us, like I just explained. Okay. I get fire here. Fire is Aries Leo or Sagittarius that this person could potentially be. But either way, I feel like this is, this is new. This is somebody new coming in. I feel like they're going to make a love offer to you. I feel like you're going to feel on your feelies about them. They're obviously in their feelies about you. Okay. I feel like they're taking action towards you. This is somebody here that I feel like you're, you're extremely interested in as well. So they're interested in you. You're interested in them. Aquarius. Okay. Getting back into your spirituality. I feel like there, there may also be somebody here you're walking away from. Whereas some of you guys could be missing an animal or a pet you guys used to have, and you're releasing restrictions, you're releasing binds here, okay? Leaving that all behind, once again, releasing. You're going through this releasing phase. You're releasing and you're celebrating the fact that you did release here, Aquarius, because you're being led and guided here towards better things in your life. You're being led and guided here towards big contracts in your life. When we talk about big contracts, it could be for your career, it could be for material assets, it could be for a marriage contract. Some of you guys be get married in the future, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you're finding somebody and you're getting married here. We have the rabbit. The rabbit is good luck. The rabbit is fun. Let's, let me go get a drink. Hold on. Anyways, the rabbit is good luck. The rabbit is abundance. I feel like you're being led and guided here towards good luck, towards abundance here. Big things happening in your life. Big opportunities here. You got love. You got, you know, there's something here you're creating. You know, all this this great stuff is going to be happening for you and you're you're releasing something as well. Okay, King of Swords. King of Swords is yourself, whether male or female. Does not really matter, because, look, we also have the Queen of Swords with it as well. So we got both the King and the Queen here, and it feels like you're removing obstacles out of your way. And what you've been wishing for is coming in for you. It's abundance. There's abundance coming in for you. Your heart's desires is coming in for you, Aquarius. It is coming in. You're about to be super super blessed and it's what you've been wishing for okay you're about to have a miracles happening in your life you're about to have justice happening in your life here you're about to have a balance aquarius as well there's balance with there's there may be financial balance okay finances balancing out for you so let's go over here to these cards to see more for aquarius okay what's going on for our aquas today there's a card that just flew out for you what is this this is the queen of cups here but once again i feel like you're you're attracting in your heart's desires you're calling in your heart's desires aquarius some of you guys may truly desire new love because i kept seeing the ace of cups while I was shuffling here. Now, if that is what your desire is, I do see it popping up in your reading, so it could be coming in. Some of you guys may have a Cancer Zodiac sign here trying to come your way that I feel like you're like, I don't even know what to do about this person. Maybe you don't know what to do with that, about this person because they feel very deceptive towards you. So I feel like you're kind of holding back from them, whoever they are, and I feel like you're like, hmm, I don't know about you, you know? It's that type of vibe. Yeah, maybe you already know some things. I feel like you have an intuition. They're like, this person's a red flag, and I feel like you know it. Aquarius, I feel like you see the red flags with this person, even if they are your own family member as well, or if they were somebody that you were close to or were in a relationship with or whatever was going It's like at some point in their life, they were very close to you in some type of way. But I feel like you started to notice some things about them, Aquarius. You started to notice that, you know, there's something, something going on with this person. Okay, so let's go over here to these cards. Let's see more for Aquarius. There's somebody here going over their options. You're in this flow of abundance. Maybe you're going over your options for your flow of abundance. We have a crow. There's a crow trying to talk to you. There could be somebody here moving. There could be somebody here looking up their options of moving. Moving out. Moving in. <laughs> going somewhere. <laughs> somebody here is looking over their options today. And they're just deciding, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to just leap out there okay i'm gonna just go for it this is what they're investing into there's somebody here that's investing into a move somebody here's moving and then they're turning into the hermits 
And we have this balance between the spiritual and the material. Okay. Once again, what you've been wishing for is coming in. You've been doubting it, but it's coming in. Okay, you need to believe in it, Aquarius. Emperor, once again, you guys are stepping up as the emperor. I know emperor is not usually your card. I know it's a star. But for this instance, I feel like you're embodying this emperor. Okay, you're, you're in this vibe of the emperor, Aquarius, as the boss here, as the leader, as the... You know, for some of you guys, as the provider here, but overall, just creating something. There's something here you're creating. You're, like, forging your own path, Aquarius, and I feel like this is something here, this is something here that I feel like is going to help other people, and this is something you're deciding to do that other people are not doing. It's like you're looking at the situation, and you're like, this is what needs to be done. Why is there nothing being done about it? And I feel like you're, you're creating the change here, Aquarius. Not waiting for it to happen, you're creating it, you know? Maybe you're getting some extra details before you actually do it. Or there's somebody here that you're being distant towards that's trying to talk to you, or coming in to talk to you. They're going to be sending you a message, unsure whether or not you want to talk to them. Okay, maybe, maybe this is somebody here that's wanting to be with you, but you're not really wanting to be with them. They're like trying to propose to you or something, or they're wanting to be with you. You've been distant towards them. See, I feel like you're just not really wanting them, but they're... And one of you, I get potential Aries, I get potential Virgo here, potential Pisces as well. By the way, this is somebody, somebody that's wanting you, they're going to be reaching out to you, but I feel like they're going to be reaching out to you when you, you no longer have an interest in them, Aquarius, when you're, when you're distant towards them, when you feel cut off towards them, when you feel like there's no emotions anymore, they're going to be watching you. Okay? Rushing in, trying to get your attention, trying to speak to you again, Aquarius. Pull too many cards. There's a Queen of Swords here. Look at this. You're not even facing the right way. You're facing away from each other. And you look at these cards. You see this? Okay? Look at this. You're facing away. Yes, yeah, so we're looking in the opposite directions here. Alright? There's, there's somebody here that's secretly watching you. Secretly watching you, got a new perspective of you. About to be taking action towards you. Once again, I get fire. Fire is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But I feel like you're walking away from this person. Fire is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I get fire. I also get potential air here, too. Air is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And maybe a fire sign and an air sign doing this. But I feel like you're kind of walking away from both. Okay. There's a King of Pentacles here, too. What's the King of Pentacles? There's Temperance. There's Sagittarius. Here, there's victory. Okay, you guys are having victory in your life. The star, the star is your own card. You have okay. You're gonna have victory when you head towards your new beginning. When you you when you take action towards your new idea, Aquarius. Or this could be something for your career as well. When you're changing up something in your career, there's something here you're deciding to release. Something here that's making you feel stuck. There's love. Once again. There could be love coming your way. It could be a brand new relationship. I guess Scorpio. Could be a new one coming your way. If you dealt with a past one, there could be a new one coming in Aquarius. And what you do with them, that's going to be up to you. You know? Let's go back over to the Aquarian Spirit Tarot, which is, you can find on my website in the shop section. And that's the only place you can find it at. We have the moon. But this is all about reconnecting back to your emotions. So you're reconnecting... Back to your emotions. Feels like you're going to be having more fun with life, Aquarius. Okay. And you're going to be achieving the impossible. There's something here. Okay, so you're you're getting back into your feelings. You're getting back into your emotional sides, which feels like a lot of you guys may have been kind of cut off from your emotions, but you're getting back into it. Okay. And it feels like you're having more fun with life, and it feels like you're you're achieving something that you thought was impossible before because it's like you're extremely motivated to get this done. Aquarius, you did it, or you're going to do it, okay? And then after you do it, you may be taking a little bit of a break, okay? Maybe resting, but then there's going to be more doors, more opportunities coming in. When these doors and opportunities open up to you, Aquarius. Don't reject them. Go after them, okay? 
The Prince of Cups. The Prince of Cups is the prince that is both emotional, intuitive, empathic here. He's psychic. So that can either be you or just somebody that's around you. But there's three things that you've been waiting for that are coming in for you. It could be three new opportunities. Aquarius, okay? This is the card of conflict. I don't like the card of conflict. You got opportunities, but somebody here is trying to give you conflict about it. But it feels like the only thing they end up doing is just making themselves stuck. Well, you're free to move around, but I feel like you're going to be going inwards for some more insight, Aquarius. We have, okay, some of you guys may need to go ground yourself, like go connect with the earth. High Priestess, you guys are popping up with somebody here that's psychic and intuitive here. Some of you guys are focusing on self-care, maybe you need to. Self-care, self-love for Aquarius. Okay, once again, there's somebody here that regrets what they said or did to you. It could be this person that was trying to give you conflict here. But there's something here you've been asking God for that you are about to receive as long as you, you stay focused on it. Okay? And I feel like this is part of what you're trying to achieve here. Part of what you're trying to create. Okay? There's somebody here, a lot of anxiety. You're sitting here on this wheel of abundance. You got this abundance coming in. Once again, Queen of Wands. Some of you guys could have fire in your birth chart. Fire is Aries or Sagittarius here. There's somebody. I feel like, okay, there's somebody. Okay, look, there's somebody here for you. Aquarius. There's some, There's somebody here coming in. We have the crows again. There's the crows or the ravens or the whatever here. There's temperance. Sagittarius here. Once, if some of you guys may have Sagittarius in your birth chart. Maybe there's a Sagittarius coming your way. We also have you connected with the guardian angel with this card here. We have you connected with your sun sign and your moon sign here. Empress again. All right. Once again, there's something here you're creating. Let's go over here to these cards. Strength. We have Leo. Some of you guys could have Leo in your birth chart. There may be a Leo coming your way. Romantically. There's a Leo here. There's there's somebody here that's been working hard. Yeah, there's somebody here that's a hard worker. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. That could be yourself here. I feel like what you've been investing into is going to be paying off for you once again. Hermit. Some of you guys may have Virgo in your birth chart. Or you just kind of, you're kind of going into Hermit mode. Like there's love that comes in. And I don't, I see this kind of going on like a retreat, kind of going more inwards here. There's somebody here, a lot of anxiety though, but I feel like there's somebody here that's having a lot of anxiety because they haven't seen you in a while here. Aquarius, they're like, where did Aquarius go? Aquarius <laughs> went inward, decided to focus on self-love, self-care, decided to focus here on knowledge as well, insights here. Okay, is what it feels like. Star. The star is yourself. Queen of Wands. Some of you guys could have fire in your birth chart here, too, once again. Or there may be... There's somebody here that's wanting to work... I feel like there's somebody here wanting to work with you. Hang on. Wanting to work with you. Emperor. Queen of Cups. Yeah, I feel like there's people coming in wanting to work with you. There's people wanting to team up with you, collaborate with you, Aquarius. You're going to get more recognized for your work here, what you're doing in your career. I feel like you're going to wow people. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are going to be impressed by you, is what I feel like. And they're going to be like, that's who I want to work with. So that's what I feel here. There is someone here trying to make a decision here. Some of you guys may end up blocking somebody as well. But I feel like I feel like you're about to get more recognized once again, stepping up as the emperor again, Aquarius. Some of you guys be starting your own business as well. But I feel like you're gonna get more recognized and people are gonna be like, that's who I want to work with. That's that's who I want doing this. You know what I'm saying? Here, star is here again. Yeah, you're gonna be meeting more people that are on the same soul journey as you, the same soul path as you, Aquarius. And I feel, okay, we have the eagle. The eagle is about getting a different perspective or seeing the bigger picture here. There's something here that I feel like you got more information on that you decided not to take action towards. Okay, the nine of cups. I want, when did you decide not to take action towards? Clarify the five of pentacles.
There's the Three of Swords, something with the heartbreak. The heartbreak in what? What's going on with this? Of course, you decided to take action towards something that you knew was going to break your heart. Like you got more information on it. And you're like, oh, never mind. Never mind. Four of Pentacles. The Star. It could have been something that involved another Aquarius. I feel like there's something here you that... Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. There's somebody here that I feel like came in to approach you. I feel like they were being all over you, or it's like they were trying to rush a relationship with you or something, right? They, they approached you in some type of way. And I feel like, like maybe you were like, okay, you know, whatever. But I feel like you're, you started to see more about this person, or you started to learn more about You've seen something about them. They, you've seen the other side of them, Aquarius. And I feel like you're like, oh no, this is just going to lead to heartbreak. This is a red flag. You've seen a red flag. And I feel like you paid attention to the red flag because you're deciding not to take action towards the red flag anymore. Okay? That's what... <laughs> you are moving towards what you've been wishing for, though. And I feel like some of you guys are moving towards paradise here. I see beaches. I see, like, the ocean or something. Have you guys balancing out both the spiritual and the material here? And once again, like, I feel like, like you, okay, there was somebody here. Yeah. I feel like you got the truth of a situation and I feel like you realized that there was somebody here that would have broke your heart. And I feel like you're, you're, you're just left alone. You're like, okay, we're not messing around with that person anymore. And we're just leaving old cycles alone. Okay. We're just leaving it alone. Not messing around anymore. Like, okay, fine. I'll go my own way. You know? Something better is coming along anyway. Somebody better is coming along than whoever that person was. Once again, twin flame vibes here. Somebody here wanting to take you on some sort of romantic date, Aquarius. And you're cutting off cords with the past. All right? Because you've got different love coming in. You have your soul tribe, soul family here. Soul tribe, soul family is people here that are into the same things as you. They resonate with you. They're on the same vibration as you. It could even be other Aquariuses like yourself. Three of Swords, the Moon, the Star, the Star is yourself, the Seven of Cups. See, I feel like some of you guys have dealt with some, I feel like there was some sort of like breakup or something, or there was a heartbreak here. I definitely, I definitely do feel like there was a breakup. There's a breakup, but you cut your cords with them. And then you decided to see what else was out there. Aquarius. Like some of you guys recently gone through that. You're like, okay, well, I'm single. I'm free. What else is out there? You know, it's like that type of a hype. Once again, you guys are stepping up as the leader here. And there's love. There's somebody here that's coming towards you in love. Aquarius. There's, there's love here. This could be a very healing relationship. You have the bear. The bear is power. You guys are connecting with your power here, your personal power, your spiritual power here. Reclaiming that. And there's somebody here that's wearing a mask. And you're manifesting. Some of you guys may be manifesting in secret. You may not be sharing what you're manifesting with other people. Like, you may not be telling people you're trying to manifest it because maybe people are trying to speak it over you. Like, oh, that's not going to happen. You know? Or they, they'll just say something to kind of discourage you. And I feel like you're tired of it. So I feel like you're making moves in silence. Aquarius, you're reclaiming your power. And you're like, okay, putting some distance and making these big moves in silence, Aquarius. And then only telling people about it afterwards. Like, I did this. I created this. I manifested this. I made this happen. You know, it feels like that. Some of you guys are manifesting more wealth, more money here. Okay. There's somebody here coming in that's extremely interested in your products or in your services. If you have a business or something or you're selling. Okay. You're deciding to take a leap of faith towards leaving old cycles alone. Old chapters alone, just going in a different direction. There's a Queen of Pentacles here. There's an Earth sign, a Taurus for your Capricorn, Cap whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. A Queen of Wands here too. A Fire sign, Aries Leo, or a Sagittarius. 
that may be coming in with offers towards you that they want to move forward with you here. There is a fire sign and an earth sign that's going to approach you that they just want to move forward. Okay. They just want to move on. Or maybe they just want, they want to move forward with you. Aquarius in some type of way. It feels like they want to leave the past behind and just move forward. What you do with them, that's going to be up to you. There may be one that you're keeping and then there may be one that you're leaving ended because it's like maybe that person betrayed you really badly and I feel like you're just tired of that. You don't want to deal with it again. You're tired of the backstabbing. So you're taking one with you and you're leaving the other one behind. Okay. The Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is yourself for the male or female. does not matter. You guys are in this single and independent mode or you're you're in this this mode of financial independence here, Aquarius, abundance, kind of, you know, I can do anything by myself type of vibration here. Some of you guys may be like buying a car or something, okay, or there may be somebody trying to pop back up from your past. I get Cancer Zodiac sign here. Um, We have the sun. The sun is a happy card. We also have Pisces here too, okay. You see, I feel like it starts off as a happy conversation, then somehow it twists, and then it, to the point where you, you just kind of like, okay, I'm done. Stop. Stop talking. You know? It's that type of vibe. And to where there's that distance again. To where that's that, that cycle's over with, or you, you're just kind of like backing up away from these people, or this person, Aquarius. I don't know. They just say something that it's like... It changes the whole conversation. It goes from being a good conversation to a like, why would you even say that? You know? You're resting. Uh, there's some type of temptation. I'm going to go get a drink again. Anyways, there's some somebody okay, there's there's temptation, but I feel like you're leaving the temptation alone. There's there's somebody here trying to tempt you into doing something that you know you should not be doing, Aquarius. And I feel like you're saying no. You're having your boundaries and you're saying no. You're like, no, I'm not like that. No, I'm not gonna do that. No, I can't do that, you know? It's like that. Like you're you're resisting it. You're saying no. Okay? No. Other people are falling into it, but you're not falling into it. You're not falling into the trap because you have your integrity, you have your morals here. And you're stepping up as the leader, not the follower, Aquarius. And you got love. Once again, there's somebody here coming towards you romantically. Maybe this is what you've been wishing for, okay? Some of you guys have been wishing for this. You've been wishing for this type of relationship. You're celebrating it, okay? You're celebrating it. Yeah, you're happy. You're happy it's happening. You're leaving behind the past, moving towards the light, Aquarius, okay? You're leaving behind heartbreak. And there's something here you're you're studying, once again, education here. There's something coming in that's going to surprise you, but it's like a good surprise. It's a new beginning, Aquarius. You guys are having new beginnings in your lives here, and you're you're setting up some strong boundaries with some people around you. You're saying no, and no is justice. Okay. That's good. It may be financial balance. There may be financial balance. There's some sort of new beginning that I feel like is going to create some financial balance for you, Aquarius, in your life. It could be a new job, new money opportunity here. Don't overthink it. You're going to be fine. And it's coming in fast for you, Aquarius. Money's going to start to move fast for you. Start to come in fast for you, okay? there's Once again, there's people that are going to be like, I want to work with you. You know, they want to work with you, Aquarius. This is what you've been praying for. This is what you've been asking for. And it's happening. It's happening because you made it happen. Okay? You showed up every day. You were consistent. You were reliable. You were committed. You were motivated. You were driven. Here, people liked your work ethics. They were like, wow, you know, Aquarius doesn't mess around. Maybe other people mess around. Maybe other people do what they're not supposed to be doing. Maybe other people are not professional here. The King of Pentacles is here, and this isn't even the deck that it belongs to, but they see you as somebody here 
that gets things done. Aquarius, okay? There's other cards that don't belong here too, but either way, they see you as someone here that gets things done. You review it, you double check it, you triple check it here, you plan ahead. They, they see you as somebody here that is like really, really good worker, okay? And you got your Ten of Pentacles coming in because of it, because they see all this. Aquarius, this is what you're getting known for. So now your Ten of Pentacles is coming in, that your love, the love here is coming in, and they're once again there may be somebody here you're leaving out in the cold and maybe somebody from your past okay maybe a king of cups from the past here a water sign a cancer pisces or a scorpio that still wants to invest into things with you and is trying to reunite with you and whatever here you know trying to reappear back in your life here that wants to work on things with you but i feel like you feel overwhelmed by them here maybe because you've given a lot to them before so I, I, I don't know i just feel like you end up leaving this person out in the cold and focusing here on your work aquarius because it's like maybe you already seen the truth about this person that you can't really trust them so i feel like you're not open to them okay maybe you see that they're kind of immature not serious here i get heavy scorpio it could be a scorpio from the past this is somebody who you had conflict with before but by the time they come back around, there's going to be new love in your life. Anyway, there's somebody new. You guys got new love anyway. So this person comes back way too late. When you don't even like them anymore. And you moved on. Okay? That's what happens when you snooze. You snooze, you lose here. So. I would make this an hour, but I have been so busy this week and I'm so tired. So I'll probably make an hour one tomorrow but yes Aquarius you're getting what you've been wishing for and there's new opportunities you're creating the opportunities Aquarius there's people that are like recognizing they're like oh my god Aquarius is wonderful so now you got opportunities coming in you got love you got what you've been wishing for and it's happening but it's once again it's because you made it happen okay so it's happening but that is what I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also go check out my website for even more content on there too. All right, so goodbye, guys.